Okay, hey, how you doing? We're going to talk about how it is that you uh, find a missing coordinate if you are given two points and the slope of a line that passes through those two points. There are two methods, okay? Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about method one. Uh, I like to use a t-table for this, um, but there is also another method that I know of that is method two where you can use the formula. So for me personally in this uh, this one, um, I'm just going to use method one and then I'll make another video and post it up of how to do method two and I'll label them method one, method two. So for method one here, let's talk about this one to start off with. So I'm going to erase this one. Okay, method one. Method one just requires the knowledge of how it is that you find slope and slope is the change of your y's divided by your changes of your x coordinates. So all I'm going to do for this one is first off I'm just going to organize my information into a t-table. So I go ahead and do that. So I take my coordinate pairs where it's 4, 3, and I have coordinate pair 8y. So I'm just going to write them as 4, 3, and then I write 8y. So if you notice, I now have them written into a chart. So what I now need to, to utilize here is the fact that I know that this slope has to be 3 fifths because it's given to me in the problem. And the problem is what is the coordinate, what is the missing coordinate of a line with a slope of 3 fifths and passes through the points 4, 3, and 8, Y. So here I go. I've now got this part, and I know my slope, okay, is going to have to be 3 fifths. Well, if my slope has to be 3 fifths, then the ratio of the change in the Y coordinates divided by the change in X coordinates also has to be equal to 3 fifths. So what I'm going to do is set up an, e an equivalent ratio. So I'm going to set up proportions here. So from 3 to Y, okay, I'm going to look at the change. What is it from 3 to y? Well, I don't know what it is. And that's okay. That's the point of this, the, using this chart. If I don't know what something is, I can always let it be re represented by a variable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in this case. And I'm going to say it's n, which stands for some number that I don't know. But if I come over here and I look at 4 to 8, well, 4 to 8 is plus 4. So now what I need to do is come over here and look at, okay, what is the ratio that needs to be set up for my change in my y divided by my change in x. And the change in y in this case is n, so if I take n and divide it by 4, since I know that the slope has to be 3 fifths here, then this ratio, then n divided by 4, has to be equivalent to that. So this has to be the same thing as n divided by 4. So at this point, what I can now do is I can go through and solve. So all I'm going to do is use some mathematical processes here to solve for n. Well, this says 3 fifths is equal to n divided by 4. Well, if I want to undo division, you do that with multiplication. So this is multiply by 4, multiply by 4. And now what I'm left with is n is equivalent to 12 over 5. Or that is also the same thing as being equivalent to 2.4. Okay, so the one that I'm going to use here is actually the decimal value because it's a terminating decimal. I could also say that this is not only, I could say that this is 2, so this is 12 over 5. Okay, I could also say that it is equivalent to 2 and 2 fifths. So maybe what I'll use for this is not decimal, I'll use the mixed number. So what I now do is I have positive 2 and 2 fifths is n. So all I have to do is now come back to my chart and go, okay, from 3 to y, it's plus 2 and 2 fifths n. 2 and 2 fifths is going to be the same thing as 3 plus 2 and 2 fifths which is 5 and 2 fifths. So therefore, I just say that y, my missing coordinate, coordinate is 5 and 2 fifths, which is the same thing as 5.4. Okay, so that's how you find this particular one using it. And it all comes back relating to the idea of the ratio of the y's divided by your changes in your axis. Okay, so I hope that helps.